Hi, good morning. It's a Sunday morning. Um, it's me, Woody, back with another video. Uh, just talking about my my life and experience with uh, stage four cancer. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny day. Not cloudy in the sky. It's just one of those uh, days that makes you feel really glad to be alive. And I think that these days are the days that you have to treasure and remember and feel and I'm, you know, I'm sitting here and I'm feeling the sun and listening to the birds singing um, it's just magical it really is and I think it probably does more for my health than almost all the tablets I take and injections and all the other stuff that goes on in uh, my life in case you've never seen me before uh, my name's Woody as I said earlier um, I work as an ambulance driving instructor and uh, it was September the 15th 2021 where I was being wheeled into a, a cancer ward in Kent that I realised I've got cancer after months of excruciating pain which no one could, no one at the time put their finger on what it was, it was just uh, put down as sciatica and uh, yeah I found out I've got uh, stage 4 tumours in the spine and hips lymph nodes as well affected um, it's been almost a year and a half and since then I I can't really say I've had a bad time I'm trying to create a positive mindset all the time always trying to think positive and so should you. You should always try and and, and see your, your experiences and look for the positives in there, like the sunny days and the, listening to the, the birds singing and the, the, the sunsets and sunrises, watching people laugh and smile, things that make you feel, feel good inside, a, a, a medicine. Yesterday I done a, a really nice thing, something that I haven't done enough of, in fact anything of. I've actually spent time with people who've got cancer. And uh, I signed up and did a, a 5k walk, which is, um, if you're in the UK, it's called 5k your way. I'd thoroughly recommend it. There was only a few of us there, there was two ladies I walked with. It was adjacent to a park run where there was hundreds of people running and uh, we, we walked around the course and it's the first time I've really shared I suppose feelings and experiences with, with people who who have the same thing I've been doing blogs and vlogs talking to people uh, online but when you're actually with people you can almost feel the, the experience and you're sharing it and it's a, it, it was a remarkable. I felt so good after it. Kind of like, this is what I want to do. I want to help people and I want to share my experience more with people face to face. Um, and the newest thing I've done so far is doing what I'm doing now. So, it's something I think that be really, really useful for anyone that's suffering from cancer. Whether it's the beginning of the journey, the middle, whatever a part of it. I don't like to say the end because I don't think there is an end in this. You, 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 you've always got to believe you can, you can, there, there is no end, you can beat this. You might die with cancer but not of cancer, that kind of thing. is to try and get community, get some community of people around you that have cancer and have that same and, and develop mindsets that are strong and powerful because I think that is one of the key uh, strengths that we can have by joining together this video channel does something like that I think, or I hope, I know people comment on it and I I know that 
there's near 460 people now following it, which I'm extremely grateful and proud and, and feel that it's worth doing. And the next step is to branch out and find people that are in the same boat as you and swim together. Well, not swim together, row together. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it was it, it was a nice feeling just walking and talking about cancer. People were scared of cancer. Um, if I'm with my friends, they don't want to talk about cancer. Of course they don't. We talk about football and we talk about stuff and work and our colleagues at work um, know I'm very open about it. My students, I share what my story with my students in the belief that if I share what I'm going through, I can motivate them to, to do well and perhaps even give them some inspiration. I think if we all give each other inspiration, we start building up a, a resiliency. That, that, that's powerful and I think there are places you can just go to clubs and find out online if I find anything out I'm going to put them on the in the comment section or something in the description um, yeah I think if we share our experience it it kind of takes some of the burden away we're not holding it in and we're not um, what's the best way to describe it we're not sort of blocking ourselves up we're, we're letting go of stuff I think the more we hold in the worse we, we feel and it, it's got to go somewhere all these stuck emotions and when we're with people with the same um, situation we can let go and that's what I found yesterday we did a 5k walk around a beautiful lake it really was it's beautiful and yeah we talked about cancer all the way about we even talked about some of the stuff you don't want to talk about and I found it really refreshing and and something that, that was that was good for me. And, and hopefully it was good for the two ladies that I was with. Um, and I certainly will be looking at doing more of that. In uh, July I'm walking um, uh, 10, 10k um, for prostate cancer at um, Battersea Park in London. Where thousands of people are going to be there. I'm going to go up on my own, I'm going to go up there and I'm going to find people to talk to and share experiences. This one's for prostate cancer, so there's going to be, I think, thousands of men, um, all, with, all with prostate cancer, so it's going to be interesting to, to just walk and talk and share common ground and common feelings and our, our ideas as well. Perhaps I can give people ideas about how to help their mindset. I think the mindset is just is one of your most powerful tools. It, it promotes your your immune system. Healthy mind, healthy immune system. It just makes things better. Um, I had my. Oh yeah, I wanted to say I had my Dagarilix injection. A few days ago for the first time I had no no real side effects from it um, no pain no tiredness from it. I usually do suffer it takes me about 48 hours or so for the pain to calm down this time nothing at all and then you start thinking well is that because in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, this is great. And then I'm thinking, does that mean it's just stopped working? I call this cancer of the mind. It's the mind where it starts to to play games with us. Like every 
every twinge you have uh, creates a, a feeling of anxiety. It's, it's like I got into the ambulance the other day and there was a, a sharp pain in, my, in the groin area and I'm thinking, oh, here we go. You know, and everything is exasperated because you know you've got cancer and it's, it could be anything really, it could be something else. But it's all linked, we all link it in our mind and that, that mind cancer that starts gnawing away at our, our mentality is a hard one to overcome and I think um, I think it's a good I think cancer in the mind is an apt way if you've got cancer you know exactly what I mean that that life is is just full of thoughts about cancer and the mind picks up on everything and converts it into cancer and we have to we have to try and I don't think we can beat it. I think we have to accept it and join in with it in a way where we're, yeah, okay, I'm going to get those feelings. I accept that. I'm going to get those thoughts. I'm going to just say, okay, it's only a thought. Thoughts can't hurt me. They're not real. Just move on for the next one. But if we dwell on those thoughts, and we, we, we I think it does us harm, both mentally and physically. And that's why I think sharing don't hold things in write about it talk about it tell the world what, what's the wrong you know what's what's going on find someone you know I, I'm always happy if anyone wanted to message me and have a private conversation swap phone numbers wherever you are I'd be honoured to talk to people And I think that's one of the things we've got as human beings. We've got this ability to to choose what we do. You know, we're not programmed into just like animals. And you know, the rest of the animal kingdom is is stuck with no choice. We have choice, and some people don't think we've got choice, and that's the problem. They just feel that they're a prisoner of cancer, and they can't get out of that prison cell. And so. It's almost like they get the key and throw it away. And the key is to open that prison cell, is to to open your mind and open your heart and share. And don't let yourself get so entangled in it. Distraction's good, distract yourself. And enjoy, enjoy life, but whatever it is, however long it is, enjoy it. It might be a lot longer than you think. Anyway, listen, I'm off now. I'm going to enjoy some time with my daughters. And uh, until the next time, take it easy. Bye-bye.